What's up people? In this video, we're gonna be covering all the changes that are coming with season two of Rogue Company. We're gonna take a look at the new map, the new game mode, the changes that are coming with contracts and ranked. We're gonna be talking about the new daily login rewards along with the changes that are gonna be coming to rogues, their weapons, gadgets, and perks. And then we're gonna end the video off by covering the new Rogue Mac. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first and foremost, let's cover the battle pass for season two. So just like the season one battle pass, this one is gonna have 50 tiers that you can actually earn now you get these by simply playing the game you don't have to pay for them unless you really want to and the ultimate prize this time is going to be the wasteland scavenger phantom now there's two bundles that you can buy with this you can get the battle pass base bundle for a thousand uh, rogue bucks or you can get the battle pass elite bundle for two thousand rogue bucks so very similar to the one that we just had really the new map is going to be called Breach. So this one right here looks like a huge map. It kind of reminds me a lot of Vice in a way. I'm going to go ahead and put some screenshots up here so you can kind of see what it looks like. I'm excited to see what this map looks like and how the new game mode is going to play on it. Speaking of that, let's talk about the new game mode. So the new game mode is called King of the Hill. Most of you are probably familiar with that, but basically it's a best of three 4v4 respawn mode. So you'll gain points by securing and holding the control point. Each round is going to last last five minutes each second on the hill will gain you points but you must remain within that area the hill will move to a different location every 75 seconds which is good to keep people from camping so much the first team to 150 points or the team with the most points when the time expires wins the match and sudden death will occur if the losing team is on the hill when the match timer runs out and continues until every team member has been removed in terms of ranked the new change that is coming to that is going to be rogue bands just to note this will also be in custom matches as well but basically during rogue selection each team may select a rogue to ban before selection begins and basically that rogue is going to be banned for the entirety of the match so it will still be banned even when you switch sides right let me know who you think are going to be the top banned rogues i'm thinking fixer vi are probably going to be auto bans most of the time and out there seeker in there as well let me know who you think now they also added a gone rogue achievement so when you play 30 ranked games you'll get that achievement there next thing that i want to talk about is going to be the contracts so basically you'll have season challenges now so now you can earn reputation and battle pass points with the new seasonal challenges so new challenges unlock each week and you can progress through current week's challenges as quickly as you're able to so i like that so even if you miss a week you can just come back and you can jump right back on and complete those now another thing to know here are daily contracts uh, daily contracts are also going to uh, award battle pass xp to help you progress through the battle pass so i like that they're giving you a few more things to grind for and makes it a little easier to get through this battle pass i hate that it's only 50 tiers still because i feel like now we definitely could use 100 last thing to note about rewards is that now we'll have a daily login reward so basically players can earn rewards just for logging in the road company currently there are 10 total rewards available each cycle which will give you a boost camo and rogue bucks so it looks like by doing this they'll make it to where if you buy the battle pass you complete it and you do your daily logins you basically can get the next battle pass for free is what it's looking like so very good chance that they put there now let's go ahead and talk about some of the changes that are coming to rogue starting with fixer so fixer is no longer going to have shredder rounds now he's going to have toughen up so it seems like the idea behind this is that it will make it harder for people to run into a fixer smoke and try to beat him down and plus shredder rounds never really had a big value for his kit next up here we have a glitch so they did a couple of things with glitch they fixed an issue where he wasn't able to pull out his tablet after hacking enemies hit by his hack are forced to put away their abilities and gadgets and hack range is increased from 20 meters to 25 meters so a huge buff for glitch now basically he's shutting down lancer and scorch and if you add the increased range to his hack he's going to be invaluable for teams in demolition now Ronan's change is going to be now instead of her knife doing 100 damage it's going to deal 125 damage meaning that it can one shot people again Segret now has full immunity to melee attacks when her shield is out now that is assuming that people are actually hitting the shield right if you get her from behind it's still fine you're still going to deal damage Trench is now going to receive trip mines and he's no longer going to have shred arounds but he's instead going to have toughen up having the trip mines i think is going to be a huge boost for trench it gives him a little bit more uh, lethal potential right now he's in a weird spot so hopefully this is going to help him be a great counter flanker 
Now looking at the gadget changes, we have the EMP in the sticky sensor. Basically the EMP is gonna be the same as Glitch's hack. When now when you hit somebody with an EMP grenade, their ability is shut off and their grenade is automatically put back into their holster. So this is gonna be huge. It's gonna make the EMP so much more valuable now. For the sticky sensor, they just fixed a ADS bug. So that's a good thing. Now looking at perks, the only perk that's really getting a big change is gonna be tenacity. The cross has been increased to 8K, but they also reverted the change that they made earlier. So now it reduces incoming damage by 40% again. And this is huge because you all know getting hit by a grenade was so painful after that nerf to tenacity because it was basically a death sentence. So I'm happy that they went ahead and reverted that chain. Now, as far as the weapon changes go, a couple of things that you need to know is basically body shot damage has been increased to kind of make up for the bloom in the game, which means you'll need fewer body shots in order to get a down now. Some guns have had their headshot damage increase as well. Well, I also want to go over a few of the changes that have happened outside of that. So first and foremost for our SMGs, so all SMGs had their sprint fire delay removed. The LMP, they fixed the issue where it was receiving a less aim over shoulder accuracy than attended. So now you should feel like this gun is more accurate when aiming over the shoulder. The dead eye has had its fire rate increased from 3.23 to 3.6, which is great for the dead eye. Still a solid weapon, 58 to the head is ridiculous. The Striker 8x10, which is Lancer's shotgun, has had its range increased from 6 meters to 6.5, meaning that you're going to be hitting a little bit harder even if you're a little further away. The Skull 6 has actually had its headshot damage reduced from 136 to 125. Thing to note here is that it's still a one-shot headshot, and then the fire rate of it increased from 1.85 to 2.0. As far as pistols go, the Salvo has received a buff where it has now reduced horizontal kick, meaning that you should be able to be more accurate with this weapon. And the P12 now has its clip increased from eight to nine shots off the rip, which is great because the biggest issue with this gun back in the day was that it just didn't have enough bullets in the clip. Now a huge change that I wanted to say for last here is going to be the tier. So this is Fixer Sniper. So the clip size is now reduced from two to one bullet. The headshot damage is increased to 150. So it is a one shot headshot again. And the body shot damage is up to 80. So it's kind of like Sniper's Phantom back in the day. So it's kind of a buff and a nerf at the same time. This is an interesting one. Let me know what you think about the changes to the tier. And lastly, let's go ahead and take a look at the new Rogue Mac and kind of break down his kit. So the new rogue's name is Mac, and let's go ahead and jump right into his abilities, right? So his primary ability is gonna be this light bomb. So basically he plants this device, it charges up, and then it seems like it launches a flash grenade off into the distance. So sounds very powerful. We'll have to see how that actually works because we know how good flash mains could be. So depending on your team comp, that could be devastating. Now his passive is gonna be called standard issue. And I think this is gonna be one of, if not the best passive in the game. You start the game with 25 additional armor. That's definitely gonna be up there elusive right especially when you pair that with the fact that downing enemies instantly repairs this armor so that means that as long as you're slaying out you're going to constantly have that 25 additional health which is huge so now looking at his weapons he's going to get a new weapon in the game called the conviction this is going to be another lmg so 25 body damage seven fire rate range is 20 30 for the handling and a mag size of 50 reload 3.2 seconds now not bad it's probably going to be very similar to the maw in some which way or form but it's good to see that we get a new weapon now moving on he has the objection which is going to be a shredder we all know the objection is nasty he also has the warrant for his secondary weapon, which is good. The warrant just got a buff. It's back to somewhat his former glory. He has a new melee weapon called a claymore. So it looks like the claymore is going to be able to hit you for up to 70 damage if you fully upgrade it. It's also going to have increased lunge distance and it should be able to hit people at a greater range. Looking over at his gadgets, he's going to have the grenade and the active protection system. I think both of these are really good, especially when you pair that down here with his perks. He's going to have resupply, which is going to go crazy with both of those uh, gadgets that he has. He has replenish, he has stalker, then he has bounce back, toughen up, and then of course, berserker to end it off. Next here, we have some of the icons, skins, banners are going to be releasing when Mac comes out. I kind of like that his icon is very similar to Dahlia's there. Now, the last thing I'll show is his emote here. So it's going to be him working on an anvil looks like he's crafting some type of weapon i think that kind of fits him makes him like a blacksmith right he's the armor rogue let me know what you think about these changes down in the comment section if you made it to the end consider subscribing for more roco content this is Orsa of course we'll see you in the next video or live stream peace 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 peace